On average, a plane is struck by lightning once every 1,000 flight hours. So that does happen pretty often. But yet, during a lightning storm, this is the safest place to be. And this applies to cars as well. So how does that then work? Because there's never been a single accident involving lightning in planes. So in this science communication video, I will tell you all about how this is due to physics and in particularly what a Faraday cage is. Let's go back to the example of the plane. A plane is designed in such a way that its exterior is coated or encapsulated with aluminium, a metal. So when it's struck by lightning, what happens? The lightning, you'll have electricity flowing, but it will only go through the outer shell of the plane. And then it will exit via the tail. So it means that whatever presence of external field there is, internally, so the people and the passengers in there, are not affected at all. The Faraday cages are made from ground mesh wires or parallel wires. So they will have to be made out of conductive materials, such as the aforementioned aluminium, but you can also think of copper. And I think the one criteria that there is, is that it needs to be closed overall. So you can have a mesh, but it needs to be a closed system. And actually there's Faraday cages all around you, which I'll come back to later. But what happens when the plane is struck by lightning? So anything which is a Faraday cage, the external magnetic field will cause like a distribution in electrical charges on the surface which will cancel each other out so that's why you can't feel it in the interior and a very common example of a faraday cage which you have in your kitchen is a microwave a microwave is designed in such a way that the electromagnetic magnetic energy is contained within the microwave so it actually protects the user from the microwave radiation and faraday cages were not surprisingly invented by michael faraday in 1836 I work in analytical chemistry and Faraday cages have a very important application there. So as I mentioned before, you can have a mesh, so you can play around with the mesh size, so you can block out certain waves and certain frequencies if you wanted to. But generally, any kind of electronic equipment that you have will be impacted by an external magnetic field. So what you can do if you have a Faraday cage, for a lot of very sensitive equipment, it means that you can block out a lot of noise. So think of diagnostics such as in hospitals, such as an MRI machine. Uh, a lot of modern electronics, they all work with Faraday cages. So I definitely use it in the lab myself where we do uh, electric measurements using potentiostats. And usually these devices are placed into a small Faraday cage in order to make sure that we get the best signal. Thank you for watching and hopefully you've learned what a Faraday cage is today and how important it is in modern applications. So do have a look at other videos in this playlist if you want to know more about science experiments that you can do from home.